Hi, my name is Monique Riley and I'm Miss Universe Australia. I got into boxing through one of my friends over in America and once I did a few sessions, I fell in love with it instantly. I was on my morning walk one day when a male walked towards me and as he walked past me, I felt someone grab me from behind and as soon as I reacted, he started running. I realized if I want to make a difference and if I want to find this guy, I need to have evidence and I followed him. As soon as I found him, I started getting clearer photos of him and took all of the details to the police station and he was actually locked up for six months. That's when I started offering free boxing classes for girls because I then understood the importance of it, not only physically, but mentally. Without that boxing background, I probably would have just shut down and got very emotional about the situation. Boxing really helped me step into that. Hello, I am Thelma Madeira, Miss Universe Portugal. I stand for volunteering. Actually, I've been developing a lot of social projects. One of them it's called Be the Voice of Reality, where I could volunteer even more when it comes to mental health and bullying and primary health care for everyone. I was bullied growing up. I used to use glasses. I used to have my teeth not very straight. For a long time, I didn't like my smile. One day, I just looked to the mirror and I self-affirmed that you are capable, you can do it, you are powerful and you are amazing. It doesn't matter what people are thinking about you. What does matter, it's what you think about yourself and what you are passionate about. I graduated as well as a dental assistant. Right now, taking off my brace and have this beautiful smile, I can be really related with the work that I am doing. And then I can see the people's smiles and the people's happiness throughout the smile. Curacao is an island that is full of color, it's vibrant, it's people are super warm. My mom is Surinamese and my dad is Brazilian. And growing up in a multicultural background has taught me a lot. It has taught me to be open-minded and to accept people for who they are. I was cyberbullied two years ago and it was definitely a hard experience and that's why I started my foundation, Light for Change. It was more about rising above it. I think everyone experiences things in life that are truly hard and things that we have to overcome to become a better person. And I found a lot of resiliency within myself in all those experiences. Hi everyone, my name is Amelia Tu and I'm Miss Universe Canada. Canada is a highly multicultural country. We're super accepting of people from all types of different cultures. I started dancing at the age of five. You know, not only are you exercising while you're dancing, you're also able to express your emotions and your creativity like through your body and through the choreography. I'm extremely passionate about environmental sustainability. I believe that first educating the people around us, educating our community on this issue is of utmost importance. So I feel like the first step comes with really raising awareness so more people can take actions, even if it's small actions. For me, growing up, I knew that I wanted to learn how the universe worked. I remember coming home from school and they would always give Star Trek reruns. There was a character named Yohora. And seeing her among all these men on the bridge, you know, taking control was amazing. And it was a representation that kind of led me to decide that I wanted to study engineering. For a really long time, I didn't think that I was capable of doing a lot of the things that I am doing here today and that's what I want to represent. Change the perception that you have about yourself and about what you can accomplish, because when you do that, the universe will become the limit.